Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to take a look at the Surveyor 252 RBLE. This camper comes in at 29 feet 7 inches tongue to bumper and weighs just under 5,300 pounds empty. As we get started up front here we have your power tongue jack with the LED light so you can see at nighttime if you're hooking up. Two 20 pound LP tank bottles with the hard shell cover and the quick access lid and these will be filled by the Outpost RV. Directly behind that, we have your 12 volt cutoff switch. You can see with the red switch there, uh, and also a place where your battery can go. Diamond plate rock guard with the curved radius front end. We also have the windshield up front here. With the surveyors, it does have a laminated sidewall and floor, and it is aluminum framed all the way around. Rafters, uh, floor, and sidewalls. We have the magnetic door catch here, so you can lift the baggage door open, stays open. Lots of storage up front. Uh, bright LED light in the storage compartment and also an adapter for your jacks. We have four manual jacks, two in the front, two in the back. That adapter will allow you to use your power or a screw gun and run those up and down. We have a large 20 foot power awning with the LED light underneath it. Each arm is adjustable. You simply pull down in the middle here and that will adjust the pitch of the awning and you can adjust it as needed. We have your window up here, also to mention with the Surveyor product, around every opening it is framed. So we'll have aluminum framing, framing around the windows, doors, and baggage doors as well. You'll also notice this light that illuminates behind the Surveyor emblem here. A uh, really nice feature at nighttime so you can see where you're going, walking into the camper. With the sturdy steps, each leg is adjustable. We have your oversized grab handle large entrance door that has a full-size screen door as well so extra airflow we have your led lights on the outside your speakers which light up blue and down here you'll notice we have the the center cap popped off all four wheels have self-adjusting brakes and there's the quick easy lube axle there furnace vents and we have your tv connections on the outside with your outside kitchen we have the griddle set up with your sink, a water source over here on the side, as well as your fridge that goes with it. In the back, we have your roof ladder for maintenance purposes. We have the uh, travel rack with your spare tire attached to it. Up top with the black box, it is pre-wired for an observation camera. That camera will allow you to see behind you the entire time while traveling. As we move around to the side here, this is a 30 amp unit and it will come with a 25 foot detachable power cord. We have your cable satellite connections. We have your black tank flush in the middle. So when you're done camping for the week or weekend, you can hook up your water hose here and that will blast out the black tank for you and your city water connection. So if you're at a campground, you can hook your water hose up here and that will pressurize your lines for you. As we move in front of the slide room, up front here, we have your fresh water connection. So if you're gonna be dry camping or boondocking, you can fill up your fresh water tank, turn on your water pump inside and use that water. We have your gas electric water heater, the six gallon DSI, which stands for direct spark ignition. So it will ignite itself. You can get up to 10 gallons of hot water if you're running it gas or electric, and up to 16 gallons if you run gas and electric both together. And last but not least, we have the other side of your outside storage over here. That concludes our walkthrough on the surveyor, our outside walkthrough on the surveyor 252 RBLE. And now we'll head to the inside. As we move to the inside, you'll notice we have the bedroom over here on the right hand side with the slider door to close that off. Get a nice overview of the camper here. We got your slide room, entertainment center, bathroom in the back, large pantry there, and the kitchen area. Right inside here, at the bottom, we have your solar controller. So it does come with an 80 watt solar panel on the roof. And that is your um, controller for that. Up above that, we have your lights, awning, and slide room switches there. As we move over into the kitchen, we have some nice cabinets up top that have that glass front. Give it a nice home feeling. Large kitchen window. We have the high rise faucet and a large single bowl sink as well it does come with these covers so you can use that as prep space if you're not using the sink storage down below we have this bottle opener that has the surveyor emblem on it as well nice feature there some storage drawers over here on the right hand side with the oven we have the furnace down below oven three burner stove 
It also has the prep space cover, so you can flip this uh, space back if you wanted to cook. We have your knife holders on the right hand side. Utensils go on the left, and this is a cup that they put in here um, that actually has the Surveyor logo on it as well. So nice little feature that they add. We have your microwave with the range vent, which will vent to the outside. 12 volt refrigerator. Um, it is 12 volt only, which is why we have the solar panel up there, but it's really more of a residential size refrigerator. Um, it goes much deeper than the old gas electrics would. So you get lots of space and lots of storage in here. Down below that, we have your breakers and fuses and your converter and a furnace vent that's peeking out to the right there. We'll move back into the bathroom in just a second, but you can see we got these large double door uh, closet doors there and towel holder up top. Before we go back there though, I would like to show you this pantry, <clears throat> which is right across from the refrigerator. It is considered a walk-in pantry and it has a motion sensor light up top. You can see that kicked on when we walked in here. Lots of storage in here. So you got a lot of great shelving, extra room, and some extra floor space down here as well. So we move back into the bathroom. You have your toilet, 110 outlet, right beside the toilet area there. With the sink, we have your large single bowl sink. Directly underneath that is going to be your tank monitors and also where you will turn on your gas and electric water heater right there. The water pump switch is also right beside those. We have your medicine cabinet up top here. I'm going to take a step back. You'll notice that we have your vent fan in the bathroom here. Skylight on top of the shower. And we have your really nice shower in here as well more of a rectangle shower and the shower door on these are really cool it will wind up itself there but you just pull this all the way across and it will lock in place and it's definitely better than a shower curtain because it's not going to be sticking to you um, or you won't be fighting with it the entire time while the water's running there i'm going to spin around and we'll take a look at these um, storage areas over here, those two mirrored doors. You can see it's hanging storage. And this is huge, lots of room in here. Um, really multi-purpose storage area here. But you can fit a lot of hanging clothes in there as well. As we move back out here, uh, we have your theater seating right there. And that is gonna have a 110 outlet right beside it. We have emergency exit window with your decor right above the theater seating and some extra storage there. We have your digital thermostat that will control your air conditioner and the furnace for you. And then we're gonna spin around and take a look at the slide room here. We have windows on all three sides of the slide room. A nice light up top, dinette, which will turn into another sleeping area for you. And there is storage underneath each dinette seat as well. We have the table, which has the live edge look. Again, really nice look to it. Entertainment center. We have your TV that comes with it. Stereo, which is AM, FM, and Bluetooth compatible as well. So you can play music from your phone and storage down below. One thing I like to point out with this camper is this slide room when it is all the way in, uh, really the only thing you cannot do is sit down and watch TV. But you can get to the bedroom comfortably, you can get to the bathroom comfortably, um, as well as the pantry, kitchen, refrigerator. So really great for traveling, as you can really get to everything that you need if you're traveling down the road. We have your window over here. Each side of the bed will have a 110 outlet and 12 volt charge port. It has a storage drawer and some hanging storage up here as well. We have your window up front. This is a queen size mattress, residential size 60 by 80. And behind each side, there's a little cubby hole with a cup holder and an extra 110 outlet underneath there. We do have a vent up top for extra airflow in the bedroom. Storage up top that has the cargo net, so you can use that while traveling down the road. 
and an emergency exit over here so you can get cross ventilation in the bedroom since we have opposing windows in here. Off to the side, there is a TV backer in the wall. You can see the connections over there so you could add a TV in the bedroom uh, if you wanted to. And that will conclude our walkthrough of the Surveyor 252 RBLE. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you all for watching and have a good day.